Hiya, in this video I'm going to show you how to create artwork in Desmos using the polygon tool. So I'm going to show you how to create this little house to get you started. Just go to desmos.com and click graphing calculator. So you'll get an input pane on the left and a graph panel on the right. You can move this graph panel around by clicking and dragging the screen and you can zoom in and out up here on the right hand side. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and drag it until I'm happy with the view. So I'm going to draw myself the outline of my house by creating a polygon. So what you need to be able to do is enter the coordinates of the vertices of that polygon. So you might think of the vertices as the corners of your shape. And I'm going to do that by listing these coordinates in a table. So I click the plus here, add a table, and then I'm going to put my first vertex at 0, 0. So I'm going to enter 0, 0 in my table and a point will appear on my graph. So the next point up, I would like to be 0, 4. And then I'd like my house to be 5 wide, so I want the roof to be halfway along. Coordinates do not have to be integer values, so I can come 2.5 along and then maybe go 6 up. If you can't quite see the point that you've just plotted, you can click and drag this view until you can. So all I've got to do now is create points that come down the other side to form the right hand side of my house. Once you're happy with where the coordinates are for the vertices of your shape, you just need to get Desmos to join them up for you. So type the word polygon, open a bracket, and then you're going to enter the headings from your table. So the X column is X1, so enter X, then 1, and Desmos will automatically create you a subscript, so that 1 drops down. Then do a comma and do Y1, so it subscripts again, and then close your bracket. If you hit enter, it confirms your shape. And then what you can do is you can go to this circle on the right hand side and do a long hold on it. So it's a left hand click, but hold it down. Don't worry if it takes you a few goes to get this, but when you get it right, you'll get this format menu come up so that you can change how your polygon looks. There's all sorts of things you can do with it. Change the lines, change the color, untick the fill. I'm gonna choose that combination. Actually purple, I think. When you're happy with it, click anywhere on the screen. The last thing I'm going to do is hide the individual points on these vertices by clicking this circle just once. I'm then going to repeat that process in order to draw a door. So just think about where you want the door to be, add a table and enter the coordinates for the vertices of the door. If you put a coordinate in like this and you think, oh no, that's in the wrong place, don't worry about it. Any coordinates that you enter can be changed. So then I'm going to decide my door is two units high, so one along and two up. And then two along and zero up. There's my door. Now I just need to draw the polygon. So type polygon, open a bracket, and this time the table headings were X2 and Y2. So type X2, comma, Y2, and close your bracket. Then just format the shape the way you want it to be, and hide the points that form the corners. The last one I'm going to do is a polygon to show a window. So it's just going to be a square over here, and I'll run through that really quickly. So for this last polygon, the headings in my table were X3, Y3. Just make sure that you're writing the correct labels here to match up with your table. And then change how it looks. When you're happy with what you've done, the last thing you might want to do is to actually hide the grid that's behind your picture. So go to the spanner in this top right hand corner and you can change your settings by hiding the grid and even hiding the X and Y axes. Once you're happy with it, make sure you're signed into Desmos. Click in this top left hand section so that you can give your graph a title. Click Save and then you can share your graph with others by clicking this icon in the top right hand corner and copying the link and sending it on to somebody else. Good luck with all your creations.